This tutorial is specifically for teachers setting up their grade book who do not have weighted grade categories. You want to first make sure that you are in the appropriate Infinite Campus portal, which should say District Edition. Some teachers have accidentally clicked the new Infinite Campus Parent and Student Campus portal, and if they've signed in, they may notice this screen here, and that is not where you want to be. Particularly for new students who have never logged in, you want to go to pallyhigh.com org, click where it says staff, and you'll notice it says infinite campus login, and it says district edition, that's where you want to sign in to access your gradebook. I would recommend bookmarking this for easy access. You want to be in the instruction portion of infinite campus in order to access your gradebook options. If you happen to land on the tools page, then it would look like this. To switch, to the appropriate page. You want to click these nine squares right here, and then you can then click instruction. There's other tutorials that I can show you how to make sure that you always land on the instruction page uh, in the preferences. Select gradebook. Double check a couple things. Make sure you are in the first semester and that the task is always semester grade. You want to click the settings tab and then click categories. You want to click add category and since you're not having any weighted categories you can just select one whatever you want to call it. You need to have at least one category. Now if all your sections have no weighted categories then you can select this button and it applies to all. If it's only just some sections and then the others are going to have weighted categories then just select the sections that are going to have no weighted categories. You don't need to put anything for the weight and the difference between A and B is first semester is A and second semester is B. And so once you click save you can then move on to the grading calc options. The grading calc options should be by default. Uh, the type is for everything in progress grade and the grading scale for progress one, two, three, and semester grade should say standard. And then all the work habits, one, two, three, and semester grade should say work habits and cooperation. And so it's kind of a repeating pattern. Progress one is standard and work habits one and cooperation one is work habits and cooperation, work habits and cooperation. Because you don't have weighted categories, you don't need to select this box. So make sure that's unchecked and you never will select the use scores percent value. So just make sure you want to double check progress two standard and then the work habits and cooperation or work habits and cooperation all the way through progress three and semester grade also grading scale standard work habits four goes along with the uh, semester grade and then hit save and now you're ready to add assignments so this is for teachers who have weighted categories so First, you want to make sure you are in Campus Instruction uh, and you want to go to Gradebook. You got Semester on the task, Semester 1 selected here. I'm going to click on the Settings tab, go to Categories. When you start adding your categories that you want weighted, for instance, let's say I have my final exam. Uh, you're going to select which sections you want that category for. So if you have different classes that you have different weighting categories, uh, you can just select which specific one. If you want them all, then select them all. Uh, the difference between uh, A and B is first semester and second semester. Um, so if you're going to have the same classes in the first semester and the second semester, you might as well set up the grading categories now. And so if all of my classes have a final as 15%, and I've selected like that, hit save. Continue adding all of the categories until they add up to 100%. So this would, uh, classwork would be worth 40%. And then the last category, let's say I have exams. Uh, let's say that's for all the sections are worth 45% and hit save. And so all those should set uh, add up to 100. Hit close. You want to go and then make sure that you check your grade calc options. 
and this is very important. It should be by default. All the types should be in progress grade, but the grading scale is different from the progress one, two, three, and semester grade and the work habits. For progress one, two, three, and semester grade, you should have standard grading scale, and you want to make sure you click weighted categories. For the work habits and cooperations, however, it's the work habits and cooperations grading scale, and you don't have to have the weight categories box checked. And the use source present values is unchecked for all of them. So I just want to make sure that all of my progress too has the weight categories selected, and then work habits for the work habits and cooperation, and then progress three, work habits, work habits, and then semester grade. I have the weight categories and the grading scale. And then we are good to go. And now you're ready to add assignments. This is for teachers who all they want to do is copy the categories from their last year's course into this year's course. So that would be something that I would do since I'm teaching biology this year and I've taught biology last year. You want to make sure that you are in instruction uh, and not uh, tools. Um, you want to go to gradebook. Get semester for the task and then first semester for the term, semester grade for the task. I uh, click on settings and you want to go to category copier. And so you want to go from, let's say, last year's. So I want whatever I had for first semester last year. Biology is probably the same as second semester. Uh, and I want to copy those categories to this year's. And so that's 17, 18 PCHS. And I want to copy that to uh, all my biologies. Uh, you, you can do sec first semester and second semester uh, if you have your first sem second semester courses there and then just hit copy. And then if you want to check your categories have been copied, click categories. There they are. If you want to click to make sure they're the right percentage, you can see I got my classwork was 40%. Exams were 45. And then final was 15, all adding up to 100. And at this point, you want to double check to make sure your grading calc options are correct. And you want to make sure that your progress one, uh, progress two, progress three, and semester grade all say standard, and they have that check for weighted categories. And all the types for everything should be in progress grade. For work habits one, two, and three, the grading scale is not standard. It should be work habits and cooperation. And you don't have to have the weighted categories because work habits and cooperations uh, aren't a weighted grade. So you just want to make sure that that is for everything, progress to standard and work habits and cooperation for work habits two and three. And you want to make sure that for progress one, two, three, and semester grade, you have that weight categories box checks. And I do a semester grade and work habits for work habits and cooperation, work habits and work it and hit save. And now you're ready to add assignments. The new version of Infinite Campus has a little different way to get to the account settings. Make sure that you're on campus instruction and not tools. If you happen to be landing on the tools page, the way that you switch back to campus instruction is by clicking on the nine squares and clicking on instruction. How you'll access your account settings is by clicking on the avatar in the upper right, which controls your profile, and then clicking on account settings. And from here, you can change the landing page, which I highly recommend you click to Campus Instruction because that's where you take attendance and that's where your gradebook lives. And then you can check whether or not you want to show the active students only in your class. If you have this unchecked, then all the students that were in your class but then have dropped or transferred out will still remain on your roster, but then just highlight it as a different color. You can also select whether or not you want to show student picture or the number, use the seating chart for attendance or canned comments. When you're done, just click Save. You should be done.